At the Naval Air Warfare Center Aircraft Division, innovation doesn't just sail. It dives, flies, and swarms. And what is a swarm in this sense? That's the term of having many drones or autonomous vehicles working together for a common mission. Knock ad engineers at Patuxent River Naval Air Station successfully demonstrated a major leap forward in mission planning. The optimized cross-domain swarm sensing software, in short, OCDSS. What we're showing here today is the collaboration of a surface autonomous vehicle with an underwater autonomous vehicle to do maritime sensing in real time. So we have the vehicles communicate with each other and follow each other through the environment, giving us information about the environment that is relevant for Navy missions. The team is using advanced simulation to plan and optimize these swarming missions, air, surface, and undersea. They work thousands of virtual configurations to figure out the best drone combination, payload, and formation before they even get to the field. Being able to do most of the work in simulation and then just do the last 10% in the field really saves on time, expenses, uh, and makes it much easier to get that data you're looking for and get your technology out to the fleet. OCDSS empowers planners with smart recommendations, like how many autonomous systems to deploy, how they should move, and what sensors they need before a single vehicle touches the water. Our main missions are mine counter warfare and ASW missions in which we're trying to look for threats that could endanger naval vessels within a port. And by applying swarm logic, multiple vehicles working from different angles threat detection becomes faster and more precise. Autonomy is the future, and we are trying to get to that future as fast as we can. Cross-domain innovation, smarter planning, real-world results, OCDSS, accelerating autonomy for the next era of naval warfare. <laughs>